welcome back to Football Christmas Calendar. <laughs> So yes, welcome back. Yes, I've had a bit of a change. Yes, welcome to Christmas Calendar episode two. So yes, it is tonight. Doncaster Rovers versus Oxford in League One. And according to Fort Mob, it is seventh playing 23rd. Doncaster Rovers 23rd. It's hard to imagine a year ago, Doncaster Rovers was, set, was sitting second in the league. How times have changed. So there we go. It's another a new one for me, but of course it, I'm making a little bit of history as well at the Keymo. It is my hundredth game for Doncaster Rovers at the Keymo Stadium. I'm so excited. Let's hope we get the victory today. <laughs> yes, we'll see you at the ground. Yes, the woolly height is on. Why not? It's going to be a chilly night tonight, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to be wintry for the first time this year. Get in. I mean, we haven't been here since July when it was boiling hot, and it's now a freezing December. How about that? You see, people might ask me, saying, Joe, are you going to be worried about your hair? No, I need a haircut, so at some point before Christmas, I need to get that cut because it's getting in my eyes. <laughs> to be fair, we'll get, we'll get the teams and all that in when we're getting into the ground. Right, we're in the concourse, we've got an hour in here, Sport Rovers. How are you doing? Alright mate. What do you think going to be tonight? 2-1 Rovers. I love it, I love the prediction, I love it. Yeah, I thought I'd make it to the top tonight, so why not? Um, it's not often I get stuck right at the top here, so it's alright. Um, honestly, Donny need a win. That's the best way I can describe it, but uh, Oxford need to win to make sure they keep in touch with the playoffs. So, they're going quite well actually under, under Carl Robinson. So, yeah, Rovers, one thing we need is permanent manager, that's the first thing we need. But, uh, and then we need some form. <laughs> um, yeah, tough one there. You know what, Aaron, Aaron's got a good point. I'm feeling positive tonight. I'm going to go 2 1 to Rovers as well. Should be a good one. I might where the atmosphere is. We'll see you for the first half. Oh, boom! Well, sorry, that would have been a great chance for Oxford there. First real good chance of the game here. Great defending, great defending for Tom Anderson there. Absolutely brilliant. Once again, the defence have gone to sleep. Just same basic errors again. Bit of trouble here. Keep. Oxford return on the side there. Oh, you can see, you can hear him. Just get more. Get something behind here. Oxford looking, they're looking for a second here and they're pressing and I wouldn't be surprised if they get it right now. Half an hour to wake up, but yes, we finally got a corner. Let's see if we score. Oh, it's been it's been difficult. Oxford have been good. I'll admit they've been actually been very good. Rose have just Rose need to go out and attack them, that's the thing. Right on the edge of the seat. 
Come on. Ten oh. Better. We're the first shot. Hey. Well, to be honest, Oxford have looked pretty good in terms of, you know, they've, they've looked a really good football inside. You know, Rovers have just not attacked Oxford the way that they should do. You know, they've got some good attacking players, they've got some good players. It's just been a little bit too negative for me. Um, with Gary Sheffield, I want to be making a few changes at half-time. But, yeah, the atmosphere's, the atmosphere's been good. That's one thing I could say. Um, that's it. Yeah, other than that, it's not really been too much to really get you out and about. I mean, Oxford, like I said, Oxford as a football team, they look really, really good. They keep the ball well and you know, they've created some good chances. But yeah, all I can say is it's not over yet. <laughs> I'm staying positive. We'll see if it's a good And we're back on the way. Oh, nice! It's, it's a Wilder! Oh, no! More positive, better. Great play, that. No do under the Wilder. What good since they come on. Great start to the second half. Here we go. Oh, I'm not sure. Come on, have a dig. Have a dig, son. Oh, no. Brace on. Oh, no. They're in. What a save! Brilliant save! Brilliant save, Louis Jones! That was... And now the count is on! Look at the crowd going! It's Smith! Here we go! Oh, my goodness me! Ralph Burns! Come on, then! It's it! He has! Oh, look at What? I'm pretty sure that took a deflection. Positive, more positive from Rovers. Yeah, still 1 0 though. It's a ruler, he's outside! Oh no! What a pass from Tommy Rowe, I think he's down injured. The ruler didn't catch it right. But another great chance for Rovers. How many more are they going to squander here? James Henry had that ball in there, poor quality. Mike Taylor, not had the best of nights for Oxford really, but it's still 1-1, there's about seven minutes to go here. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. The second half overs have been fantastic. And the first chance Oxford getting the second half to take it, but there we go. 2-1. Wow. That's heartbreaking, wow. There we go. That's football for you. At least we're still in four boys. Still in four boys. There we go. Losing round. And uh, we'll speak in a sec. So there we go, just got back. Um yeah, people might go on beaten again but to be honest there was a lot of positives out of that game today so all right first half probably not so much um i felt that you know the team sort of going forward they you know they lacked a bit of creativity bit you know bit of bit of thrust bit of go in them um but you know that was sort of fair play to oxford you know they they 
so I had a game plan and then they, they, they settled that. I thought, controversially, I think it was a handball uh, for the first goal. But second half, Rovers came out and I thought they were brilliant. That young, young Brandon Horton, absolutely superb. One for the future, in my opinion. Um, scores a brilliant goal. And deservedly, the round of the match, I thought it was brilliant tonight. Um, yeah, and it was a bit of a sucker punch in the end. Um, the old, uh, the Oxford goal, really, because you know it was a good, it was a good finish um, from James Henry. Um, but yeah, a bit heartbreaking. I think, a, to be honest, I think a draw would have been fair enough, a fair result in the end. But there you go. Sometimes you don't get that in football. But there we go. Um, but like I said, you know, there's a lot of positives to take forward. But the first thing is. We need a permanent manager. That's the one thing that Rovers need. And, well, we'll just have to see what that comes about. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, and certainly I have, if you enjoyed this for a little bit of history, my 100th game at the Keep Moat, a little bit of history tonight, absolutely superb. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Of course, we're nearly there. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers. We're getting there, but very, very slowly. <laughs> uh, but, yes, hope you enjoyed this. You guys have been smashing the likes recently for this football Christmas calendar. We'll see you in the next episode of the Christmas calendar.